Today is our weekly stamping collab, and the theme is watermelon. Hosting this week's collab is Gina's Nail Art, and joining us this week is Nerdy Creations. Jadinka Nail Art, Curly Nails 66, Never Naked Nails Nail Art, and this is my Manny. Now I'll show you how I created it. Let's get started. So today I'll be using these stamping polishes. Um, one of them is by Brave Steva Polish, and it's on the black. And this is Sweet Child of Lime from Hit the Bottle. From Zoya, I'll be using Merida, which is this beautiful green holographic polish. It does, there we go, there's the hollow. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> I'll be using Paris, which is a jelly polish. And I'll be using Leia which is this pretty, I don't it's a topper. I don't know. It's, it's pretty. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. It's a sparkly topper. I'll be using the sticky base coat. And this helps when you put it on top of your polish to make these stamped images stick better. This is the smudge free top coat, which will help seal in the stamp design without smudging it. And my new favorite ice cube stamper from Man Maniology. So these are all my new favorites from Maniology. I do have a 10% off discount code if anyone's interested or if you purchase from Maniology and you'd like to use it. The stamping plates I'll be using, this first one is from Moyu London. It is from the Tropical Collection, and it is plate number eight. And I'll also be using this Lena Four Seasons Summer 03 plate. First, I'm going to apply a base coat on all of my nails. I'm going to put Merida on my pinky finger. and on my ring finger. I think I'm gonna go for this on my thumb as well. I'm gonna put Paris on my middle finger and my pointer finger. It doesn't really look like Merida needs a second coat, but I'm just going to put one on. I'm going to put one coat of Leia on over Paris. Oh, I like how that looks. I'm going to put one more coat of Paris over the top. And we'll have some subtle sparkly watermelon insides. For the watermelon rind, I'm going to be using Sweet Child of Lime. This little stamper has such a great pickup. Okay. 
Line it up like this. Oh, that was lucky. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to put the um, the sticky base coat on. Oh, that seemed to work without it. I think the polish on my nails might be slightly tacky still. That's probably why it stuck so well. I'm going to use these little watermelon seeds right here. I love this image. This is so cool. I can't imagine why they just had watermelon seeds and no watermelon stripes, but little. So I'm going to remove some of this around the edge. Some of these seeds didn't come out so well, so I'm going to use the spots where they did come out better, so I don't have to scrape the whole thing again. Okay. Put these right here. Looks cute. And I think we should put another one right there. Oh, I love that. Okay, and one more. Well, that did not come out good at all. Try it again. More polish. And that one didn't come out either. All right, hopefully the third time is the charm. No, oh, that's not going to come out. Jeez. Okay, that turned out good. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this stuff on the edge. Ooh, I was thinking that that was not going to come out. That looks great. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Now I'm going to put some smudge free top coat on to seal in the stamping.
and I'll come back when it's dry. Okay, so I uh, just forgot to do some little cleanup around my the edges of my nails after I stamped the green. There's not really that much cleanup though. Now that the smudge free is dry, I'm just going to go over it with my favorite long lasting top coat. This is my favorite watermelon mani I've ever done. Oh my gosh, I love the little sparkles, like a little glitzy watermelon here. Make sure you guys are getting a really good close up of that sparkle underneath. Oh my gosh, this just looks so good. I'm sorry, <laughs> I think it looks so good. All right, I'm just gonna wait for these to dry and then I'll come back. Here is my finished watermelon mani. I could wear this for the rest of summer. I completely love how this looks. It's so nice and sparkly and if I did wear this for the rest of summer, I probably would never get any work done because it would just be staring at my fingernails all day long. Oh my gosh. I, I just love how this turned out. Let's take a quick close up and see if you guys can see all the little sparkles of Leia underneath Paris, which looks really amazing. And then how sparkly Merida's coming out. She's not coming out really sparkly online, or on the viewfinder. Oh, look at the pinky finger is sparkling a little bit. Anyways, it's like, it just looks so incredible in person. Anyway, so if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. I love how this turned out. I hope you guys did too. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.